It's a bit of August, so there's a 10 kilo start of Red F3. I just, I was just editing my um, Greek vlogs, and today is halfway through Ramadan. I look at the window and look into the moon. You know, I have a better camera than this, so it's not detailed. But that, my friends, is I think just less than a full moon, which is like halfway. Okay, this is Red Da 3, which I have stupidly decided to record late in the afternoon, which means I'm going to have to sort of speak quietly, or I'll end up annoying everyone in my house with my loud voice. So yeah, this is Red Da 3, uh, which means that there is, and there is 13 days to results day. Today I just want to take a brief moment of your time to talk about the crisis in Syria and Myanmar. Now, I don't really know the details, but from what I've been told, there's some sort of unrest or civil war, or some sort of trouble happening in that area. And as always, with these conflicts, it tends to be the innocents and civilians who are just trying to survive, who suffer the most. And from what I'm told, in the crisis, they have to put up with, you know, with lack of food, lack of heating, and terrible things like torture, rape, murder, and basically sleeping laughs and fear, which no human should have to go through. And they also have a shortage of anaesthetic, so they have to undergo medical procedures and surgeries while they able to feel everything, and this is everyone, children included, which would be a horrific sensation to go through and really not really need to have a sort of all over troubles. If you do have any spare cash, it would be completely awesome. If you could help them by donating even a small amount at the risk of something cliche, every bit does help. I've just been watching a, a live appeal by these guys, Muslim Aid, which is why I'm talking about it today because it's fresh in my memory and it's quite horrific what's happening in Syria and Burma. These are awesome guys to donate to if you are, if you feel so inclined. Regardless, regardless of your faith or if you have none at all, it still it helps fellow human beings. Um, if by per chance you're watching this before about four o'clock in the morning on the fourth of August, if you have for whatever reason still awake at this time, and you go to Sky Channel eight one three, you can catch the live appeal and they'll have more information on the crisis and how they can help but it, you know, if you can please do or alternatively I've put a link in the description box below and you can donate there or if you so wish you can donate through another organisation the organisation really doesn't matter it's the money given and the help needed in Syria and Burma so yeah, that's what you all have to say today, and I'll be back tomorrow. Swish up.